Hello everybody, welcome to part three of our Monster Pond Let's Play. Let's get it right on started. It's Zephoria's turn. Yes, let's I, go. The, the, it's gonna be bold as frick. She's the Frankenstein. <laughs> oh boy. That day you skipped class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Oh no. Who the fuck runs security? The here? hyenas, of course. Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you totally gain two boldness. Nice. You're really bold. <laughs> While doing all that, you've been carrying your newly acquired corpse as if it was a totally normal thing to do. I mean, but I'm technically people, a corpse. But some people seem to think otherwise. Oh no, it's the four most hateful people in school. Oh no. <laughs> and it's our dates. <laughs> Why are you carrying around a corpse, idiot? <sighs> what a shameful display of distaste. <laughs> yeah, what a noob. Carrying around corpses for noobs. I love corpses! Also, I'm super drunk! <laughs> okay, the three most hateful people in school and Polly. <laughs> As the school's social elite, we disapprove of this. I'm the head of the hierarchy and I can't condone such stupidity under our domain. I'm the taste of the hierarchy and I don't appreciate such pure use of a corpse. Also, lesser known fact about corpses, they smell. I'm the fists of the hierarchy, and I want to punch you because punching people is what I do. I mean, that, that's how. I'm Polly, and I'm like super drunk, so whatever Farrah says. Yikes! Despite your disregard for stupid social conventions and school hierarchies, you feel the urge to please them. Maybe that's because that's what this game is about. Yeah. When you bought this corpse, they totally told you it was a fashion accessory, and that they were just absolutely not trying to dispose of a body. But now you're starting to feel they might have fooled you. No, I feel like I just wanted to buy a dead body. No time to lose. How can you convince them the corpse is actually a very hot fashion accessory? Let's see. Trivia fact about fashion accessories, most of them are worn on your head. Quick, put the corpse on your head. Or, shallow social creatures respond only to status. Rip the brand logo off the most high-end accessory you own and put it on the corpse. That yeah? one, um, I feel like I'm going to be bad either way, because... Uh... Because I, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my head because I feel like since I'm broke, the only brand yeah. logo I have is McDonald's. Think I Damian think Damien might like you putting it on your head. Yeah, let's, right. let's go for it. I think they're both bad. Hooray! So smart. <laughs> Swiftly, you gather the corpse and you place it on your head. Disgusted, disgusted, excited, excited. Mm -hmm. Your classmates remain silent, looking at you. The tension is great. You do your best to look serious and fashionable. Hmm. I think what Seth is trying to tell us is that this corpse is a hot fashion accessory. Yes, yes, indeed. Most fashion accessories are worn on your head. Hats, glasses, <laughs> earrings, hats. I'm totally buying it. I think it's cool she's wearing a corpse on her head and she's still, like, really cool about it. Fuck! I'm, like, big time drunk. Like, tomorrow my hangover will have a hangover. Uh, wait, am I tripping or is Zeph wearing a corpse on her head? <laughs> Dude, she's my soulmate now. I mean, I did a bunch of super shrimps earlier, so I might be tripping. Yeah, you're my love. You're not tripping, Polly. Well, you are tripping, but also Zeph is in fact wearing a corpse on her head. And you know what? She is doing it in such a confident way, I hereby conclude that a corpse counts as a very hot fashion accessory. <laughs> it would also be a pretty convenient way of disposing the many corpses my ventures might or might not produce. I agree. Confidence is what really counts when deciding if something makes for a good accessory, even if that something is completely not hygienic nor healthy. <laughs> Still junk! And so all of them sign the decree that establishes a corpse as an acceptable fashion accessory, as high school social bureaucracy requires. Nice. Today is a bright day to have a corpse in your possession. You gain two charm and one smarts. Um, Im sure. smart. Again, um, <laughs> sure. Uh, where's Just the watching all these events unfold, it's like, I don't know She's what's going on. I'm gonna go shop too. Give me your money. I didn't buy anything last time, so I'll buy something this time. Oh, yeah. Give me your money. A tampon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, a lemon. Oh no, you're too poor for the drugs. <laughs> I'm too poor for the drugs. Wait, oh really? A uh, bag of regular cocaine. Oh, she would probably like that. Huh? Yeah. I can get a sheet though. A ghost costume. I could dress as a ghost and please her. Well, it's just a blanket with two holes. Yeah. Like it says, you have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost exactly. costume. I want to buy it, because I want some event to happen. Okay. 
There, I did it. <laughs> that was my thing. Let's trade places! Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud. Uh... Hitler. Mm. Well, you better bring it. Eye trauma. Oh, okay. <laughs> she brought it. Play your order decided based on how much our country needs a minister of the selected thing. A minister of Hitler or a minister of eye trauma. Um... I don't think we need... I don't... A we, minister we of Hitler of would be like a, a history class. Yeah. A minister of eye trauma is just Satan. Yeah. Let's, just, let's randomize it. Yeah, I don't want to... Because neither of these are good. I don't want to think about it too much. Minister of eye trauma. I guess Hitler wins. We need a minister of Hitler more. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just so that way we're not doomed to repeat. New um, week two. Sure. Um, sure. I was, I was about to sit with her. Uh, <laughs> right. We were just on autopilot Polly, last time. Like, hey, who's that? Oh, that's the... What's that Prince character? I'll, I'll, I'll check them out. Okay, I'll, I'll hang out with Polly. Mm -hmm. Polly and Miranda... Polly and Miranda she sit continued. together. continued. Surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. Oh. So, wait, you're actually got serfs <laughs> who eat for you? And that's a cute outfit. Uh, disgrace. Like well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whatever whenever I go surfing. Surfboard, you mean? Wow, that's a lot of surfs. Wow. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from serfdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. Well, I'm sure the help of Jables, we could probably come up with a dope new kind of surf. The thing is, Jables is something she could totally say in her voice. Yeah. It's like right. So give me the oh. eyes again. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> Sorry. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm catching the eyes. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Imagination. Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf, it's just a... 50 cute dogs. Or a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. Hmm. I mean, that sounds about right. Maybe. To experience your hangovers. I, I won't give you any you advice. Know what? I'll do it. Experience your hangovers for you. A surf? For me? I couldn't possibly. Love me more. Why not? I do it all the time. <laughs> but isn't it wrong to make someone else experience the negative consequences of your actions? Well, like I said, I do it all the time, and Father says I can do no wrong. Therefore, it's probably fine. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Let's hire a dead to deal with all my withdrawal symptoms. Dude, I'm all about right now. Hire? <laughs> Polly, dearest, we don't pay our serves. Hire. <laughs> we don't? Sweet deal. Polly hires the burliest hangover surf she can find, and the two of you go out for a night of your lives. The surf is dead in the morning from an epic hangover, but the memories are well worth the second degree manslaughter. Let's go. Let's go. So you wanted to go see this person? Yeah, I'm gonna check him out. Alright. You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. Greetings, my love. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving the most fiendish riddle for me. In the riddle of how to get my TV to switch from HDMI <laughs> to HDMI 2. I've, I've lost everything short of actually losing the remote control. Well, you plug a in sign. a PlayStation or a Switch <laughs> and it'll just go. <laughs> you need a deep sign and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. You are truly both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps laser communication might interest you? Or reverse baptism? <laughs> or, or eggs? <laughs> I just like the idea of reverse baptism. Sorry, that got me. The choice is yours. Uh, oh, jeez. Hmm, so uh, you can get money or something else. Let's, let's make up our own ritual. Fuck it. <laughs> ah, we have a ritual for this. The ritual of making up rituals. It's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. We probably need creativity. Mm. First, we get incredibly high on interdimensional weed. Ah. Then we pretty much do whatever we want and make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. <laughs> wow. Sounds good to you. You guys get ripped and invent the holiday called Shrimp Christmas. Shrimp Christmas. It's Christmas, but everyone gets stuck in this full of shrimp delivered by a giant shrimp. 
It becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension where it replaces actual Christmas. You're getting four creativity. Nice creativity. That's juicy creativity. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before picking. Paprika. It's an anime movie. Oh, yeah, I've never heard of it. Uh, um, um, the, uh, Dora the Explorer, the movie. Oh, the one that isn't out yet. soon, yeah. <laughs> Play order is decided by how bizarre an action figure based on the selected movie would be. There's... Dora or there's, Paprika? There's it's more. an anime action figure. Yeah, or... but there's more than likely, like, tons of... Yeah, and Dora. Yeah. What's weird? And with, Dora the and the, with the movie, the, the action figures are going to come out. Those don't seem bizarre that either of them would get action figures. No. Random, I guess. Let's do it. Alright. I'll go first. And I'll go first. It's been about ten minutes, so... Yeah, yeah. I'll go first next time. Uh, so we'll end this episode here, and we'll see you in the next part. Bye, guys! Bye!